Guys, welcome to our channel. So I have here great patients from India. Really, I really appreciate. Thank you for uh, the interview. It's really important also uh, to show people the lantern is working. And there's also real patients, for sure, some patients uh, showing his face, some, some patients not. We respect that totally. But thank you. I really appreciate it, uh, uh, guys. So, and before also I start, I want to say something about India patients. Today I talked to my wife. We have, you know, we have international patients from Arabic countries, European countries, States, Canada, India, Indonesia and everything. But to be honest, India patients is really different because our job is easier. The patient is listening to us, listening uh, to doctor, to the team. They follow our instructions. And this kind of things is really important to make the job easier. Because fortunately, all the issues or complications is happen because of some patients, they didn't listen to us or the team or doctor, and they doing some research on Google. And for sure, you will have problems. Because I say all this, you know, brother, you cannot bring your Mercedes to BMW to fix a problem, you know. You have to bring it to Mercedes. So uh, this is the reason why, uh, guys, please also to the new patients, no matter in, uh, which doctor, with which doctor you perform your lengthening surgery, listen to your doctor and team, not to other doctors and uh, other people's uh, also recommendation. So, guys, we are finished. We are now without fixator. We have here 47 centimeters totally, by the way, because 20 from me, how much centimeter you reached? 9.5. 9.5? 9 centimeters. 10. 10. Oh, 10 centimeters. Wow, 10, yes. okay. So, brother, I will start with you. Yeah, okay. So, what was your starting height? What is your current height? And how do you feel? So, my starting height was 160.5. Okay. And I reached 9.7, 9.5 I gained. And now my total height is, height is like 170. Wow. 170 centimeters. Brother, honestly, can you, can you feel the difference right yeah, now? Yeah, I can feel this difference because day by day, day by day, during my lengthening period, like my bed was going low and I can reach the shelves and everything. Like I can feel it. Like okay. I used to feel the height like I was gaining. And, but after removing the fixators, now I feel like, okay, I'm taller now. <laughs> wow, okay, yeah. okay. And when we will see your dance video again? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after two or three months. <laughs> okay. By the way, brother, your dancing is awesome, man. So your dancing is awesome. When we will see a, a dance video of you? Maybe in two or three months. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Soon I will post the videos only for you. <laughs> uh, thank you. I appreciate it, bro. But are you a professional dancer or is it just for fun? Yeah, I used to be a professional dancer. Like I used to teach to students uh, and in schools, but I left the profession. Okay. Because of my studies and everything, uh, I left it. And to be honest, did you imagine yourself like you are tall and you are dancing? No, I never. <laughs> okay, but now but you can... Let's see, like, after this height, how can I dance? Will I gain my ability or not? Like, okay. I'm a very enthusiast for it. Like, I'm enthusiastic. Okay, man. Thank you, brother. So, bro, you're also a famous guy of Live Life Taller. What was your starting height and what is your current height after the landing? I started at 165.3 mm -hmm. and uh, after 9 centimeters, I'm 174.3 wow. right now. Yeah. Wow. To be honest, how do you feel, man? I didn't feel much taller uh -huh. till a couple of days before. Okay. Because during the lengthening process, I didn't walk much because of my uh, pin pain and uh, I was overweight also, but after the removal, I got like a freedom. Like I was able to walk, <laughs> and you have seen me in gym yeah, without yeah, yeah, walking exactly, without crutches remember. or anything. Yes. And at the same time, now that I'm almost ready to go to back to my country, my brother is here. So I compared it again as my brother. Okay. My brother used to be like one inch taller than me, okay. and then now I'm looking him like this. Oh my God! So, so it's amazing feeling. Okay. I still have a little bit of low doses. Sure, sure, sure. I think it will go away and I'll be much, I'll be feeling much taller. Of course. I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting for something to come up like a huge occasion in India and I just wanted to show off my height to all <laughs> my friends and relatives. <laughs> and also when you drive a SUV, Porsche, you will feel that. Oh, that's going to be like a one hand drive. Of course, brother. <laughs> Finally, man. I know that feeling. It's really crazy. Before my surgeries, I can forget SUV. I cannot 
drive, brother. You can't, you know, because of the height. SU is big, you are a small guy. Yeah, that, that, that's one thing, right? You have to push your seat all the way to the front exactly. and then it's really uncomfortable. Exactly. And how was the feeling, so when you can explain me a little bit, when you saw your brother and you look like that, you know, so... My brother came prepared because he knows what's coming. Uh, so okay. <laughs> the moment he came, I, 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 I asked him, like, you know, I want to compare against you, like, how tall I am. <laughs> he just immediately put some insoles in his shoes and he wore those shoes and he stood <laughs> next to me. <laughs> He's smart, but, man. <laughs> but still, I was taller than him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My God. That that just told me like how tall I am because when you are here, when everybody around you is also yeah. growing every day, yeah. you don't feel the sense of height that you're gaining during the lengthening process and even after that. But once you step back to the world again, mm. I think you'd feel more difference. That's, that's how I feel. And I'm still looking forward to go out, kind of see what I usually see. When you were at a short height, you would see at a certain eye level. But now I'm much taller. The things that I'm going to see is much different. Like, wow. wow. It's, it's really life-changing, man. Yeah. You have to feel that, guys. You can, okay, he explained that, okay, I understand. But I also feel at the same time because I had the same problem. So, Brother, 10 centimeter. 10 centimeters. Respect, by the way. Thank you. So, can we know your starting height and your current height? Sure. Uh, my starting height was 169.3. And uh, right now I'm uh, 179.3 because I've been 179. Yes. One second. That means you are taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you for the video. Doctor, how you will not happy about it. So, no. Doc, getting ready for another surgery. <laughs> <laughs> surgery. Doc, do you have time next week for tibia for me? For you? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go to other doctor. <laughs> I know why, because he don't want to see me taller than him. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. And uh, it's, it's been such an amazing journey throughout, you know, like uh, we had bad, I had bad days, I had good days, you know, it was like such an amazing journey. Uh, lengthening every day, working out and, uh, you know, there are like other members here and you can talk to them, you can like, you know, get to know about, about the, their experiences. You can talk with the medical team, the physio team. It was like such an amazing journey for us. That means if you visit Holland, you are absolutely normal guy, huh? Yeah, I should be more <laughs> than yeah, more than the average height. Okay, guys. So finally, we have also Dr. Haile here because the problem is it's really hard to find him. He's always in the surgery room. Yes. So thank you, Doc. Thanks. So first of all, can you show your hands, please? No, two. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you to these hands. <laughs> and yes. Because of this hand, we're getting and taller. You know, of course, it doesn't look like so <laughs> thin and how can I say soft? You know, it's a little bit any bricklayer or farmer. <laughs> Looks like a farmer hands. So, Doc, how are you? Thanks, good. Nice to see you guys and you. Nice to see you Salat. also. So, we are here right now for patients. Thanks to you. Oh, four patients, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you, we're getting taller, you I know. I don't remember your name. <laughs> you were old patient. He broke my oh, bone. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Four, three times. Oh, it's okay, I remember. <laughs> this reason why he's so soft, you know, because all the aggressivity, you know, you, you, you. So I'm so soft, no. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, do you want to ask Dr. Hali some questions? Yeah, sure. Why not? So, um, your time's over. <laughs> 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 so I just want to ask, like, now that we are done with the lengthening process and now we are in the recovery, so what are the things that we need to ensure to kind of keep the recovery pace faster? And also, um, what are the general recommendation in terms of weight bearing on the nail? Your uh, recovery, we have to think two ways, soft tissue and your bone healing. For bone healing, uh, we can support you some supplements, maybe some hormones, you know, and uh, vitamin D, this kind of things. And also your exercises, walking on it with full weight bearing, we always allow your weight bearing, you know. So these are help for bone healing. and. Also, not smoking, of course, these are so important. And also, for the soft tissue condition, 
you know, our physical therapist during lengthening and during the recovery period, you have to your exercise as well. These are two points and uh, sometimes bone healing get a little bit slower, sometimes soft tissue is slower. Uh, these things are important, just keep your exercises. For soft tissue, no more, you cannot do anything. And for the bone, as I said before, some hormones, some supplements, exercise, walking on it also increase your bone healing. If we see any problem about your bone healing, we always check your x-ray, maybe we can do something surgically. Normally no need, but if you have any uh, bone union problem, also we can uh, solve that problem with surgery. But of course we always use the non-surgical ways and most of the patients, it helps and uh, we can get complete bone healing. You mean problem, solution? Yes, of course. Some of the patients has really bad bone healing. It depends on the situation. The exchange, exchange nailing uh, really increase your bone healing. So when I take out the nail, of course I keep lengthening. If there's no uh, bone healing, some of the patients, not a good bone healing. I keep lengthening area and I take out the old one and I drill the canal that really helps your uh, bone healing. Also, you can get your own stem cell directly to non-union area or less union area. And also, some of the spongios grafts, spongios mean the real bone, just a sp sponge bomb, uh, bone, maybe you can understand it. So these things, I aggressively push it into your non-union area. And also, I put bigger nail, thicker nail and the longer and the thicker nails. So it's really increase your uh, bone healing. Okay. So we can, all the patient, we can solve the problem with surgical way, but it's the last chance. The other ways, if it doesn't help, yes, we can do that. Look, I have a question to you. So I never asked this question. How is the feeling for you to change lives? It's really crazy. And uh, you know, there was a advertisement, the MasterCard advertisement. And they say that water is one dollar, and car Mercedes is hundred thousand dollar. But this low, no enterprise like that. Of course, you can get money, you can get something, you can get some benefits. But the, when you see the patient with the smiling face, when you touch their life all their life, that's really priceless. Okay, and can and you... I see two of them. Yes, guys. <laughs> He's get recovered and we remove the nail. <laughs> and no one can understand that they get taller. So, and I have also a question, like, for example, he want to do the surgery and he's under the general anesthesia and you will start the surgery. Are you nervous? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> well, how is the feeling for you, to be honest? Uh, normally, you shouldn't think and before surgeries, you are talking to patients as a friend. Of course, we are always friend and family. So you, should, uh, you shouldn't keep the conversation before surgery. So when I see your legs, I have to behave. I have to think like any item. I shouldn't use your uh, heart, of course, only your brain. And after that, when you feel pain, when you feel any problem, when you feel any little discomfort, of course, it makes me sad. And regarding complications, so how do you feel if one of your patients have complication and uh, how, how is your feeling as a surgeon? And you know, when I have any uh, bad x-ray or any problematic uh, message or something, I, and also my assistants, my, the other staff, the nurses say that, doctor, you look a little bit angry and a little bit sad. Of course, it changed my mood. We are professional, but we are not. Then you find any problem, when you say, oh, doctor, I have a problem, it makes me sad and I always think about the whole process and everything. And uh, also Sedat knows that I am always thinking something and uh, planning something. And when you have any little problem, it really makes me uh, sad. And what do you think about complication, to be honest? I mean, what is complication for you? Of course, lengthening process is not a piece of cake, of course, not easy one during lengthening, during surgery, after the removal and healing period, you can get <clears throat> any problem. Of course, we can solve the problem. Complication, that's always combined with surgery, like love and uh, needy, love and marriage, 
horse and carriage, eh? you know? You know that? Love and marriage, horse and carriage, like that. So always together to each other. But when we have, when you see any problem, of course you focus on it, and how can we solve the problem? Of course, hopefully, you know, uh, we can solve all things. With the simple ways, if it doesn't work, we can use the uh, more aggressive. We can be more aggressive and we can find a solution, of course. I say always talk uh, to fix a problem or solution as a surgeon. The surgeon needs also some experience to can fix the complication, right? I mean, before you have to s fix some complications, some issues to, uh, to make some experience and knowledge about that. And then you can also fix that. So. And Doc, you had so many surgeries, 4,700 yes, really limb lengthening only. Good experience. Of course, mm -hmm. every patient, every single patient has a different uh, DNA, different things. But uh, we are really know what can happen or if when we see any problem, we can solve it easily. One of the most asked questions is what kind of patient can do the surgery? I mean, because they have to be also able to do it physically no medical problems or illness, some, some problems. So what is important? Which patient can do the surgery, doc? Growth plates, still open, still uh, growing capacity. We don't touch these patients. And also when the patient has some systemical problem, the real liver problem, some infection tendency, uh, this kind of things, of course, we have to avoid any uh, systematic problem, I mean any hematologic disease, any cancer, for example, of course, this kind of patient, you shouldn't touch them. Diabetic talk? Uh, no, diabetic no, is not a big deal. If the diabetic in the uh, glucose level is under control, no problem. We have patients with type 1 diabetes, even type 1, type 2 diabetes, no problem. And also, we had HIV, in fact, patient. But, of course, he was getting medicine and the HIV level is in the normal uh, range. It's not the active infection, active H HIV in infection. We did the surgery and we didn't get any uh, problem, you know. He's okay now. I have one question, doctor. So when uh, you come across someone who has some sort of uh, problem, how do you calm them down? Uh, the psychological part of it. How do you make them understand that this is normal? Because like this is my first major surgery. This is my first surgery in my life. So if I had some complication or like in general, if a patient has a complication and it's their first surgery, how would you like help them mentally calm down? First of all, uh, if the patient says something, sometimes these are not important, but we have to listen to patient. We have to think that the reason is our surgery. We check it, we check it, we check it. If we cannot find any problem, yes, of course, we can think maybe it's mentally. But first of all, we check ourselves, our uh, surgery, all single steps. If he cannot find any problem, of course, uh, we can help him mentally. That some of the patient, I can start some mental support medicine also. I can start it. If it doesn't work, I can send them any uh, other doctor. And also, also this is the reason why we have the rehabilitation center, because the support of the team. Imagine you have a complication, you are because I can say that easily as a patient, you are at the home, uh, you look only your wife or mom or dad, you know what I mean, but uh, nobody can understand your situation. And, 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 and you will think about, okay, what's happened with my body and something like that. To have the team here, to have the doctor or me as a patient, maybe or not. So it, 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 it will give a, a, a better feeling than you're, you're, you're alone, you know what I mean. And I think the mentally support is much important than everything, to be honest. Now we have done the operation and we finished the, the lengthening period and everything. Like after three months, maybe after four months, can we uh, like uh, get a complications of infection? Is there any chance we can get the infection? Theoretically, also I can get months? infection now, bone infection, myself. Okay. okay. Mm. Theoretically, yes, of course. But uh, three months later, it's really interesting. Yeah. It's almost we have the same possibility. So the important thing is the lengthening period, right? During lengthening period, of course, we are always care about it. We always uh, think about it. When you have any problem, mechanical one, infected one, or soft tissue problem, of course, we think all uh, ways. And uh, with x-ray, you know, with some blood test and some physical uh, therapy treatment, of course, uh, we can get infection as all around the world. Mm, one more question. <laughs> like, I'm from India. and. To, from India to coming here, like it takes a time. 
So if I had some major complications like anything like I, I can to go do... to Goha. <laughs> 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 can I meet another doctor in India? Like is there like keep in touch. Okay. Also I can talk to other doctor, no problem. Yeah. Your nurse, your family, yeah. your anyone, no problem. And why I said that some of the patients uh, I, I, I say that I want to talk to your doctor. No, he cannot. I want to talk to your nurse. No, she cannot, for example. So, of course, no problem with your family, whoever you want. We are not. So, we can talk 24 7 to anyone, no problem. Yes, and also, you know, uh, why Dr. Ali said that? He can advise your doctor because this is Dr. Ali's job. He knows better what happened exactly. Unfortunately, it's a good way. Yes. Please, doctor, if you do that, it's better. If please, and uh, like this, but uh, no. Of course, I'm gonna share my experience. Also, sh he can show me, can teach me something. No problem. Just the most important thing: your health. No more. Please be in touch with Dr. Halil. By the way, he is so. How can I say zero ego? Ego, right? Ego is the right word. Yeah, zero ego. I really appreciate, Doctor. You are you are amazing, That's Doctor. Our life, your life, uh, so important for us. Your health, your good uh, results, really so important. We are always talking to Serat about you, not about yeah. us all the time. So, uh, as I said, surgeon is really important for sure. To have experience is important, but fortunately, all the complications happen, brother, because of issue can happen, problem can happen. As he said, you guys are not a machine; it's a human body. But the most important thing is the cooperation. So he did, he did for example, my surgery. If, he, if I have any problem, I will call my doctor. Because when you go to other doctor in India, France, Germany, United States, they will say something, other doctor will say something. Then we have a big problem for sure. Uh, because this is Dr. Ali's job. As I said, you have to bring your Mercedes to Mercedes, not to BMW. Uh, one more thing, Dr. Halil. Uh, Leon, uh, he texted me today. You guys know Leon, yeah. Germany guy? And he said, Sedat, by the way, greetings to Leon. He said, Sedat, bro, I was in, in, in a doctor in Germany and uh, he was shocked. He called another doctor and he said, what happened? You did the land setting and he checked the x-ray and everything. He said, amazing work of the doctor, amazing job. It makes me really proud. Dr. Halil, amazing. Really thank we you. We always do the same thing. We are 100% care about all surgeries, everything with me and all staff, all team. So, of course. How was the reaction when, how was the feeling when you heard that amazing job, amazing work? Are you proud of yourself? better. <laughs> <laughs> With a little smiling and okay. <laughs> some okay. blood pressure goes down. Of course, I like it. Can I ask you a stupid question? You are sure. operator, doctor, Halil Bull, right? Yes. I mean, you are a surgeon. Yes. That's the reason why. Why you are not professor? No time. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, I have to go to university okay. and three times a day, five times a day. Okay. Halil, where are you? And okay. no, I don't, need, I don't need it, you know. If you want to teach any uh, students, of yeah. course you can. But it's not my job, just I have to do my job and we do it with a really good way. So I don't want to go to university, the speech to students, I don't like it. It's you will change lives. Part. Yes, that's better. Okay. <laughs> that's better. Dr. one more question. Like, after going from here to India, like, uh, can we meet, a, like, just for an advice, for a backup, like, every 15 days for the x-ray, we can go to the doctor, the common orthopedic doctor. Is it good? Like, if he advise, like, brother, you need to take these supplements for your bone healing. If he advise some kind of supplements, can I take it? Of course. Or, yeah, of okay. course. Okay. Let's talk about it. Then, of course, you can. And uh, when we do the last appointment, we always say everything. Please get blood test three weeks later, for example. Get X-ray blah blah weeks later. We always say that. You don't have any uh, question when you turn back. You're gonna know all the steps. Yeah, that was my question as well. Because while we are here, we are taken care of. You you guys took care of all the X-rays, blood tests whenever it's required. I think it would have, it would be better to do the same thing after going back. Of course, we need to share all those results with you guys and kind of take your feedback more than anybody in India. Of course, that's so really that, good. We yeah. have all the time these pictures, X-ray and the walking videos and blood tests and everything. Of course, send us. Awesome. 
You never disturb us. That's really, you're going to feel better when you send us. Thank you, doctor, for your time. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. I will and check some x -ray. Yes, and he has to change lives, it, guys. So <laughs> I, I will check it. I'm the reason, and you are the maker, huh? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, doctor. Thank you, Doc. By the way, to have the surgeon is a little bit, you know, comfortable, right? Because he is the re he performed the surgery. So, and by the way, when I also heard Dr. Halid's voice and something like that, I was I feel always comfortable, and that makes me really happy. Bro, can you can you feel that you are getting taller? And how was your first reaction? Wow, well, it was like uh, initially because I was I had like after the first surgery, I was in pain, you know. Like everything was a bit cloudy. Everything was uh, like I had doubt about certain things. But once I started lengthening, once the physiotherapy started, once I started feeling better, I was able to compare myself, my height with the other staff members here, like the medical team, uh, the physio team, all these people. And uh, you know, like after that it was smooth sailing. You know, I didn't really have any complications. Everything was so easy. And then like, it, like, Step by step, it started getting better. I started gaining height. It was like, you know, I knew I wanted to reach 10. And finally, when I did reach 10, it was like such an amazing feeling, you know. I, like, I have accomplished one of the biggest things in my life. That was my feeling. So it was like, I was so happy about it. And how you guys find us, by the way? How, how you find us? I found uh, LLT Live Life Taller online on uh, on actually on Google, on Google, and like I saw your reviews, it was amazing, and then I texted you guys, and you explained everything to me, like the process, how the stay is gonna be, everything, and I felt confident. Okay, like if I go come here, these people are gonna take care of me, and I said that in my first interview as well. And why you will do the lengthening surgery with Live Life Taller? Why you trust us? Can you explain us a little bit then? Because the social media team mm -hmm. that you have, the videos that they put out, like it explains everything. Mm -hmm. Everything about the nutrition, about the physiotherapy, about the surgery. And then you guys are very communicative. You guys explain mm -hmm. everything in the videos. So you know, whenever we have, uh, I have a doubt, I can contact you or I can watch one of the videos. It's, it's really informative, you know? So yeah, like I got all the information I need and I got through these videos, you basically communicated your experience. You talked about uh, Dr. Talib uh, conducting more than 4,000 surgeries. Yeah, through these videos, a normal person who has no information about this will be able to understand how complex or how important physiotherapy is. You know, and like you guys make it sound really simple. You guys do a great job at it. So I was like, all right, fine. Like I, if I'm, I'm, I, I'm trusting this team because they are really transparent. They share all the information. Mm -hmm. So even if I have to travel this much from all the way from India, I don't mind it. I trust the team and I'm going to do the surgery from here. So, so that is why I decided to come to the LLT Center. I trust you guys with, uh, with this. And uh, that trust paid off. And I'm here. I'm 10 centimeters taller. So yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate it. How do you find us, brother? Um, I was actually looking into getting taller from the age of 18. Okay. I'm, right now, I'm 31. So I did my research on this. It was not quite as advanced uh, when I s really searched for uh, something like this. But uh, when I came across LLT, I have other surgeons that I've looked into, but none of them have, have had the experience or expertise to do all things together at the same time. Mm -hmm. You can get the surgery from any orthopedic doctor, but the care after the surgery is more important than the surgery itself for this surgery exactly especially brother. and uh, having everything together at the same place where you can get the physiotherapy where you can get the medical attention from the medical team on, on a day-to-day -day basis and food catered to you which is healthy for you while you do your lengthening process everything was uh, in a single package which made it an obvious choice for me to come to LLT and uh, the reviews and the videos have greatly helped me in terms of making sure, okay, this is the place that I want to go if I want to do this surgery. Because limb lengthening surgery is no joke. But you guys make it so easier for the patients so we can put our trust in, uh, trust in you guys. Because 
it's it's not just life changing it's also life threatening as well if not done properly so that's why i i i wanted to ensure myself tell myself this is the place you want to go and all the reviews definitely made it so much easier i don't think there is any other doctor who done 4700 surgeries in limb lengthening so makes it an obvious choice <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate it, bro thank you man brother ho you find us it's basically social media platform like i found it on youtube so basically i i searched in youtube how to grow taller so <laughs> i came across the sound simulation so like more than one year uh, i was doing some exercise to gain taller some yoga exercises and every night i used to put my earphones and listen to the music sound stimulation music which helps to grow uh, release your growth hormone in your body and that makes you taller so every night i was there is nothing use of it so finally so uh, in youtube i saw llt and as well as uh, remaining other doctor also but i went for the reviews first so llt has a great reviews and all the patients are reaching 9 8 10 so i was amazing like like wow the patient can reach 9 10 so i want my best i don't want to like this is one time surgery i don't want to get 6 7 i want more more so that is the reason i i choose llt and the most important thing is i came here because of the physiotherapist the the machines and everything i saw like yeah this is a good place for healing as well as for surgery also yeah so this is By the way, you mentioned that eight, nine, ten centimeters. Yeah. So this is an important topic, guys, because fortunately, many places. I don't even yesterday I saw a video. So oh my God, ten centimeters, super dangerous. How you can do the ten? Are you crazy? Are you stupid? This kind of things. So to other patients, you know, they make a joke video. Uh, they wanna, they wanna say that ten is dangerous. Don't do it. So to be honest, guys, you reach ten. Yep, I did. Is the ten centimeter possible? Yes or no, and if yes, why? It's definitely possible if your if your bending is all right, and if you feel like while you're lengthening, you would know your body more, and you would know okay if you can reach ten or not. And nine out of ten times you will be able to reach ten. Just do your stretches properly. Just listen to the medical team, and then everything is a breeze. And that's exactly what I did, and I, I gained ten centimeters. I, w- I would really like to add to his answer right so while i was doing lengthening i had it in me to go for 10 cm yeah. but i only did 9 cm because i listened to the medical team i listened to my physiotherapy every time i go to the physiotherapist for my physiotherapy session they would feel the muscles they will tell you like how tight they are getting as you do the lengthening process is your body able to handle another centimeter or another millimeter for that matter they will suggest you what is the best course f- for you it's not the height that is the most important it's the health healthy height gaining is the most important aspect of this surgery exactly you have to take care of your health at the same time you have to be in your safe limits if your body allows you to do 10 centimeters why not and I had a, a minor complication, which is basically I had the pin side pain, and my scars are getting bigger. This is the advantage of yes. the lab method. Yeah. My medical team basically suggested me that if you continue, you you would have higher level of infection risk, right? So my physiotherapist was like, "Your muscles are very capable of going to 10 centimeters. Who knows? Maybe more than 10 centimeters." But I listened to my medical team. I listened to my physiotherapist, and I stopped at nine. One centimeter is not going to make a huge difference for me, but my health is going to make a huge difference for me. Nine so centimeters is already yes, huge. Yes, difference, yes. <laughs> nine centimeters itself is like yes, a huge yes, achievement. Yes. So I never felt bad for that just one centimeter. It's it's my I I I am always appreciative of like healthy way of growing height. Of oh, exactly. What do you think about the ten? Yeah, or nine. For myself, like uh, even I was able to do ten, yeah. but just for my like not uh, not I have no good bending, so I stopped at nine point five. So it it was actually easy, and most of all, like even though we know our body, doctor and physiotherapist, everyone they they suggest you what is best for you. In they see your X-ray, everything, your soft tissues, how is your growth, like your bone is growing. 
they suggest you 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 can do more or you or if you have any complication they will suggest you so there is no afraid of like if you are capable of doing 10 as well as you said like so we can do it so there is no big danger i want to say something guys uh, this is really important because this for example this water right so yeah. water is the same company the same production so it have to be same it have to be same but guys a human body is not same everybody is different so you guys or doctors cannot say to the patients eight is a medical green zone six is a medical green zone or seven a number is not a medical green zone as a patient medical green zone is a patient body so it depends he reached 10 uh, he also used the LON you also and you also but you had a pin side infection it's absolutely normal it's superficial infection body reaction so but uh, it's a disadvantage of one method can happen but can also not hap happen because everybody's different the job and the fixator what we're using for you guys is the same but guys the most important thing is the medical green zone is a human body and we have to listen during lanterning the patient's body what happened when i when i imagine on our first appointment brother you cannot reach 10 8 is the medical green zone and you reach the five but you are not able to do more so then you will tell me Sadat, you are a liar because you said five uh, eight centimeters the green zone but i only reached eight, five so why you reach five because it was your medical green zone guys for sure if the patient doing the surgery if the patient stay in a hotel or home no care no supervision of the physiotherapist nutritionist medical team medication management of course uh, you cannot reach more height fortunately because this kind of surgeries need care not only the surgery need also the care and guys i will also say something about here the limb lengthening surgery is two procedures one of them uh, surgical procedure and the second thing is the care the physiotherapy and everything so the surgical procedure is to make an artificial fracture to stabilize a system precise or LON no matter so and to lengthen the bone to make taller you know but the problem is when you try to lengthen your bone you will also stretch your soft tissue like muscle tendon nerves and everything so if you want or not you have to lengthen your soft tissue automatically but fortunately we don't have any method to lengthen the soft tissue as well we can do it only with the physiotherapy care and everything so this is really really important and guys a human or a guy or you know so without water uh, or without food we will die right so and the water and food of the limb lengthening is physiotherapy nutritionist and medication management really important because you have to know also how you can use the medication so of course guys if this kind of things will not happen you guys will have problems you guys cannot achieve the dream and the investment fortunately was for nothing because you know we say always to the patient brother you guys you invest in yourself right because you can also buy a car or some other things with the money but you invest in yourself so your goal is my success for my business that means i don't want to see you walking like that or you know on the wheelchair because i have to also continue my business when we talk on the business view and also i have to see i have to see you healthy because you know maybe you will come for the second surgery or maybe you can recommend a patient or we can do video and you can show people's guys limb lengthening is working not only for my business for sure also for other doctors so i respect it totally because uh, i'm not looking for doing surgeries doing surgeries i'm looking for to make dream come true you know so this is the most important thing so by the way guys we doing limb lengthening surgeries the patients get taller but also healthier <laughs> so brother can you explain what i mean exactly by that yeah so you know that uh, when i came here to get my surgery done yeah. i was 91 kilos yeah. i that was one of my concerns to do the uh, concerns before getting the limb lengthening surgery should i lose weight to do the limb lengthening surgery would my nail be able to uh, bear my weight yeah. all of these was were my concerns during our first meet and i asked you all these questions and you addressed like 
your nail is more than capable of handling this weight but during the lengthening process it also gives you a certain kind of discipline um, i decided this surgery is a way for me to kind of change my life around not just in terms of my height my mentality in terms of how i would take care of my health and uh, fortunately we have a nutritionist here in llt who gave great advice in terms of what to eat um, how you should uh, how, how how the eating habit should be even after the lengthening process to continue to see medical benefits because of your nutrition so today i had my last weight check up i lost almost uh, 13 kilos how much 13 kilos wow uh, okay so in a matter of 90 days i lost okay. 13 kilos and uh, to my surprise 11 kilos out of those 13 kilos are from fat okay and only 2 kilos i lost from my muscle i i i know i would have some muscle loss because of the in, uh, not doing so much activity since we are doing lengthening and l- some limitations in terms of what we can exercise and stuff but other than that i am quite happy to see uh, i lost 10 kilos from my, uh, 11 kilos from my fat just mm. alone and uh, i saw my uh, waist diameter and i was like shocked like i was like 17 cm like slimmer than how i came now i think i can fit in yes i guess <laughs> my god <laughs> so it, it's it's quite uh, um it's quite interesting like when you follow the things that you are meant to follow the results are going to be awesome that's that's what i believe in because health is something that you cannot buy with any kind of money and i think i'll 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 continue to do the nutrition that i adopted here because good habits come very hard exactly. and you should not leave those habits and one of those habits is my nutrition and second habits is to work on myself daily the physiotherapy the exercise you sh- no matter how busy you are you should still dedicate some time to exercise and be fit and always take care of your health by the way you said uh, something good thing you know with money you cannot buy uh, real true love you cannot buy health and also you cannot buy time by the way with the quadrilateral you can buy time <laughs> <laughs> because you will be finished in three months <laughs> guys what is interesting for me for you okay a uh, dreams come true nine nine ten centimeter which is really it's, it's a huge difference a life changing you will feel that when you go back so what is the next dream honestly for me it would be recovery okay and be back okay so i'm going to be back for my tibia surgery right. okay and uh, hoping to get seven we'll do precise this time because w- i did the lawn method on my femur and uh, i had some complications in terms of pin side pain and scarring um i have seen other patients who have done precise and i really felt at ease looking at them i should have done precise so that was long method is i'm not saying like long method is bad i'm just saying precise is the beauty of this surgery much better well, of course and uh, if you do precise there are other advantages like your bending would not be bad your bending would be all right from the start and by the time you complete your lengthening you would be almost walking without any support yes. so and also there is alta g which is an uh, gravity machine which basically allows you to bear weight based on how much you can bear and also there is hydrotherapy i want to use all of them next okay. time okay. so i mean you will be get recovered at the same time yes very precise is the best lengthening technologies and uh, which uh, makes also your recovery fast yeah the this advantage it is expensive than the lone method but it's to be honest it's it's better yeah So brother what is your next dream? Like you said I have to work on my recovery. Yeah. That's the first thing. I want to me uh get better. I want to uh make my bending better. I want to start walking properly without uh any support. Okay. And that's the first thing. And the next thing is uh I want to uh compare myself with others. Once my low doses is gone, I still have a bit of low doses. Uh 
once that's gone, I am pretty sure when I go out in the public, I would be much more confident. And I, that would help me uh, achieve a lot more things in life. Uh, I'm just 24. I still have a lot of years ahead. And uh, there are a lot of dreams that I need to achieve. And the high that I have gained will definitely give me the confidence to take it forward. So that is what I'm looking forward so to. So you solved the high problem yeah. in your mind, huh? It's gone. <laughs> because yesterday, one of the patients said, uh, you know, if you do the lengthening surgery, you, ha you will have temporary pain and you solve the problem with the painkiller. But if you not do the lengthening and if you have the high, high problem in your mind, you will have constantly pain, pain you know what I mean? Yeah, but here, and always. this is really, and they, 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 they block your life. So, brother, what is your For me, dream? Major, major is like, I just want to recover soon, as soon as possible. And I will add on some weights. Ah, okay. And enjoy my new life, hike okay. <laughs> and life. <laughs> okay. Do you want to think about another surgery or? Maybe or maybe not. <laughs> okay. It depends when you get married now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> First, I need to experience this hike. Okay. So after my fully recover and I'm really craving for my bending, I, I need to get back my bending. So after that, if I'm satisfied with this height, then I will not do the second surgery. If I'm not, I will go for my second. <laughs> okay, so guys, I will come uh, slowly to the end. Just a uh, quick information regarding the recovery is, the thing is, the recovery, really important, is not a question to the bone because we already stabilized the bone. So bone says, okay, I'm good, I have a nail, he support me, it's my bodyguard. But the recovery, the question when you can walk normally, when you can run and do everything as before or better than before is a question to the muscle because the muscle is stiff right now. So uh, people say, Sarah, muscle, is it really important? Okay, example. So imagine you're starting with the gym today. You said, I will change my life. I will change my upper body. So I will gain muscle. So can you lift with 100 kg weights your first gym day? No, no. no, forget it. You have to start with 5, 10, 20, 40. So after one and a half year, you can uh, lift some 100 kg weight. So what's happened? What's changing here? The bone one year ago is the same, right? The bone right like now. So the most important thing, your muscles changing, your muscle getting stronger. So and because of that, guys, please work on out your work out on your muscle. So to make your muscle uh, stronger, because the muscle is like baby muscle right now is weak. And if you make your muscles stronger, guys, the soft tissue, tendons and everything, so you will have a great recovery. <laughs> I have two more questions, then we can come to the end. The surgery in India is really cheap, right? Mm -hmm. So why you choose Turkey, a long flight, and you pay much more money than in your country, honestly? Honestly, it's about um, feedback. I, w I, w I would have to say it's a feedback because you can get the surgery for a lot less. You can get the surgery for a lot more as well. It's not just this place is the highest, most expensive. There are other places which, which is like most expensive. But the thing that I look at when I want to get something like this is the quality than price. You cannot put price on quality. Okay. And uh, as I already mentioned, you get everything at one place. I don't see any other option that basically gives you everything at one place. Like uh, your physiotherapy is a top notch. You have a uh, equipment which is like the gold standard for this surgery. And you have specialized machines and expertise people who can work, o work with these machines with, uh, uh, to help the patients. All of this combined together makes this the best place. And uh, I don't want to risk myself for uh, risk myself for saving some ten thousand or twenty thousand dollars because it's my health and I want to have the best results possible and that's why I came to Turkey. This is the thing, you know, brother. As you said, quality it should be expensive. Quality cannot be cheap because otherwise the word quality don't make sense. You know what I mean? And fortunately, this is not a phone or car that you can say at the end, you know what, the worst case, I will buy a new one. So this is your legs. You cannot buy a new legs. We have to be offer quality. Otherwise, you cannot continue your, your business and also 
uh, you cannot make dream come true, maybe for one, two, three, four, but after that, you have to be stopped with this business. This is really important because it's business, but it's not business, you know? So. One life, two life. Basically. Exactly, brother. <laughs> so just guys, thank you, appreciate. Uh, wh what do you want to say about that, by the way? Um, see, the thing is, uh, there's something called transparency, especially when it comes to this. You can do it for a much cheaper price, but be less transparent. You just said how pricey it is, and that's transparency, basically. For people who are watching this video, they can understand from the, we are uh, three customer, uh, three patients who have already done the surgery. And uh, we, have, we have talked about all the issues, the positives, the negatives, and everything. And you actually did an interview with us so that the people who want to do the surgery, they know what to expect. And this is the level of transparency that I did expect from you guys before I came and the reason why I'm here. So it wasn't such a hard question if I need to like consider other places because I watched your videos, I watched uh, your reviews and everything was so positive. And like I, I knew if I come here, I would be taken care of. And that is exactly why I'm here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. My brother, For you me, are like also a fan I of the Black Toad, I know <laughs> that. <laughs> I don't want to risk my life. My life is one-time investment. So the reason I choose LLT is for my safety measure. I went to the safety side. Even though, so it is my major surgery one of, in my life. I never had any such a major surgery. But this is a, something bigger than that. We are breaking our bones. And that is not an easy thing. Not a normal thing. So after b breaking the bones, you should be perfect for the for your rest of your life. And that is the main concern of for me. So the reason I choose the LLT. Thank you, my brother. So regarding the physiotherapy, you said before we start the interview, allergy. So because I say, guys, the physiotherapy for the limb lengthening, it has to be special, you know, because uh, it's a combined of manual therapy with the physiotherapist when you lay down on the physiotherapy bed. It's a combined of the high tech machines. So because we also lengthen deep muscle, deep tendon, deep tissues, and also like anti gravity treadmill, which is really important. And also PT sessions, you know, you're walking in the PT sessions. So can you feel the difference that you have a manual therapy, PT and also machine therapy, to be honest? Definitely, definitely. I can definitely feel the difference. Uh, during manual therapy, it's more about stretching okay. and all those kinds of things. When we are using the machine, uh, it could be because, uh, for example, there is this bone healing machine. And uh, it, like, it's a really good thing in the long term because you, wanna he you want your bone healing to be best. And when it comes to uh, anti-gravity uh, machine, which is Alter-G, like right after the first session, I could feel the difference in my walking. And that was such a huge thing for me because like, before that, I had a bit of concern because I couldn't walk without any support. Right after I did my G, my physiotherapist helped me walk without any support. That was like, I, w I was so happy knowing that I was able to do that. That's like the first step of recovery. So uh, there is a huge difference be uh, between these two. It's a combination of these two. That's basically physiotherapy here. The machine and the manual. In my opinion, it's like manual uh, uh, physiotherapy, like it helps to like your upper tissues like but there are some deep tissues inside your body like your deep down muscles so the machines helps to build strong like if you have any pain or anything so it helps to heal it and you can also feel the difference yeah right? my brother what do you think about that yeah um as one of my friends said definitely physiotherapy uh, is a combination of both manual and uh, uh, machine you need a human touch, <laughs> yeah. and you also need machine touch. Some preciseness. <laughs> so, okay. the precision comes from your machine, where the human cannot interact, and humans are more than capable of machines. Sometimes, uh, the machines cannot detect some of these things. Right? As I told you, I was doing this physiotherapy manual sessions. They're extending, they're pushing, they're stretching your muscles by just feeling the muscles. It's so amazing. The, 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 the knowledge of the physiotherapist is as important as the machine itself. 
And uh, the machines obviously are going to provide you uh, an ad hoc support to kind of do things a little bit easier. You can also run uh, uh, normally on the ground or you can also do the um, thread mill. When you, when you do it in the thread mill, it helps you not uh, spoil your knees, etc. Right? Similarly, when you do this limb lending surgery, you need a support system. I think the combination of both the physiotherapist having the knowledge about the muscles, at the same time machines that are uh, created for this specific surgery is equally important. Thank you guys. Really, I really appreciate it. Thank you for your be patient and time. Also, I will say thank you to Dr. Halil and the whole Live Life Toller team because it's really big organization uh, to support also this kind of uh, lengthening surgeries. Uh, the team have to be also, you know, be, have to be, be patient and for sure knowledge and everything. So, and guys, you can do only this job if you want to really change lives and you have to be do it 100% here with all your energy, time and be patient and love. I really appreciate it. Thank you. This is the Live Life Toller channel and we always trying to post uh, stories from different patients everything and as much as we can as much as transparent this is really important thank you for your big support and let's see the recovery just one more thing for you please when when the time is coming and you get married <laughs> the india celebration uh, you know the wedding celebration is really awesome it's amazing guys please don't forget me and send me a photo <laughs> Okay, promise. I will invite you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, brother. I'm coming with you. This is Live Life Toller, guys. Bye bye. Thank you, guys. Really, I, so, so sorry also for the time uh, and no, everything. I'm just practicing for my tomorrow's flight. flight. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs>